All right, folks, today we are doing a seven-round Broncos mock draft. Um, this is based off of the first-round mock that I did on Monday. You can check the link right over here somewhere. Um, so the first-round pick was already made. We'll cover it in a little bit, um, but we're just going to see what happened. We're going to answer the question, what happened after that first-round pick? That's what we're doing right now. With the 10th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft the Denver Broncos select Sean Wade, cornerback, Ohio State. Already touched on it a little bit. Um, kind of disappointing to see the defense fall off. I really thought that would be the strength, and it really, for me, just came down to if Drew Locke can be a solid quarterback, this thing can blow wide open. Uh, Drew Locke is not a good quarterback. The defense kind of started to slip a little bit. So I, I just – we'll figure out the quarterback thing when we figure it out, but I, I just – we got to reestablish this defense a little bit. Um, Sean Wade, I also mentioned there's some concern about him. Can he play outside? I don't know that 2020 answered that question. He moved outside. He was okay. He wasn't as good. So, again, we got to answer that question. But clearly, if we're picking him at 10, we think he can um, be a dynamic, kind of smaller, shiftier, think Jair Alexander, which is a you know great uh, comp, I guess, in terms of what we would be shooting for, type of player. But we'll see how it goes. Sean Wade, Ohio State, at pick 10. With the 41st pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Mac Jones, quarterback, Alabama. A lot of people think he should be gone by now. Um, he is currently, I believe, like 64, 65 on my board. Um, the Draft Network has him at 100. Bottom line, he's not going to make it, I don't think, to 72. So I'm going to just take him now. We're going to take a swing at this thing. Uh, Mac Jones blew up this last year. I know his most recent game wasn't the most exciting against Arkansas. I mean, I'll take 24 of 29 all day long, but uh, 208 yards, 7.2 per attempt, no touchdowns, iffy. But for the most part, he's been an elite, dominant quarterback all year. And um, we're going to take a swing that, that the progression, if you look at his PFF grade, 2018-61, 2019-78, 2020-94.5. Clearly, this guy's getting better and better. Questions about his arm strength, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever. We're, we're taking a swing. With the 72nd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Joe Tryon, edge rusher, Washington. You know, two years ago, this was going to be the scariest edge group ever. Um, maybe it was three years ago. I don't know. But there's been a, a spate of injuries to both of our guys, Vaughn is out. He's not going to be around much longer. And, you know, Chubb is so-so at best. I mean, he was never the guy that we had kind of hoped he was going to be. We're going to have to keep adding talent here. And it's one of those things where you don't want to because you want to just say it's settled so we can start focusing on other issues. But it's going to be one of those things where you get those other issues. It takes them a couple years. And by the time this, you know, we draft a linebacker or whatever – the linebacker becomes better in 2022 and at that point we don't have any edge rushers and oh shoot I wish we had gotten an edge rusher so you know we don't like to think too far into the future but even today this is becoming a pretty rapid need uh Tryon is 6'5 262 pounds um he played basically two seasons kind of one and a half ish outside linebacker type of guy um, so he's going to be a pretty good fit. 41 pressures on 301 attempts is a great percentage. He had nine sacks last season, which is uh, plenty adequate. Talented guy, right? Good build, 262. So he's got pretty much everything you need. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take a swing at Joe Tryon out of Washington. With the 103rd overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Trey Hill, offensive center, Georgia. The offensive line in general is pretty rough, especially the interior, especially, especially Cushionberry. I know there's a lot of youth and injuries and potential and all these little reasons why we can say we don't need that, but I think that's all nonsense. Um, Cushionberry is ranked 32nd out of 32 centers. He is not just bad, he's pathetic and putrid and not good at all. If we want to sit around and wait for him to really kind of ramp this thing up, cool, that's on you. I'm not doing that. We're going to try to upgrade that today with Trey Hill. Um, 6'4", 330 pounds. He has allowed one sack in each of his last three seasons, and that's it. Three sacks in three years. Two hits in three years. Five hurries for a grand total of 10 pressures in three years, which is pretty remarkable. Um, the, pre the sack rate seems a little bit high. Usually the 
sacks are way lower than pressures and everything, and then the hits, hurries, whatever. But um, still, phenomenal and uh, decent enough run blocker. He should be a pretty big upgrade over what we have, at least hopefully. With the 138th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Tony Fields, linebacker, West Virginia. I know the thing says Arizona. I got that wrong when I made the graphic. It just is one of those things. Um, Tony Fields, six foot one, 220 pounds. Bottom line, Fangio, if he's even going to stick around, I believe he is. We'll see how that goes. I think he does a really good job with the linebackers that he has. We just don't really haven't really given him a lot to work with. Um, we're kind of in the mid rounds now, so you know it's not as though we're investing a ton to to help out Fangio with that. But we are investing something, and we are going to try. And uh, there are additional rounds, little foreshadowing there. But uh, Tony Fields to the Broncos with the 169th pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft. The Denver Broncos select Anthony Hines, linebacker, Texas A&M. So again, that's kind of what we're I did this I think yesterday with the Miami Dolphins as well double down on linebacker um, it, it really just comes down to I'd like to get it fixed and since we waited until the fifth round to do it I'm going to take two swings at it that's really all it comes down to and uh, hopefully between Tony Fields and Anthony Hines uh, six foot three 226 pounds obviously a much smaller guy you're kind of hoping he's going to be the flow from sideline to sideline kind of guy your coverage guy um, that kind of a linebacker, you're going to have to develop him a little bit, but that's the hope for Anthony Hines. We're hoping that between these two, we get a little bit of help at the position. With the 200th pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Alim McNeil, defensive tackle, NC State. Um, you know, all due respect to Shelby Harris, who's a good football player. He's getting a little bit older. He's also going to be a free agent in 2021. So, you know, whether we keep him or not, the bottom line is we still need some help there. And, and you know, with, with McNeil, we're not getting to do everything defensive tackle. I think we're getting an actually elite run defender. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually makes it to seven, but I'm sticking to the board as it is. But, I mean, just an absolutely dominant run defender. At 6'2", 320, you're not going to get a lot of, in terms of pass rush, which is why he's never going to go in the first two, three rounds, whatever. But, you know, 12, he has no sacks, but 12 pressures on 267 attempts. You figure, what, five-ish percent? Whatever, I'll take it, I guess. But literally elite run defender. Um, he's got, uh, what is it, 17 tackles, eight assists, only one miss. 14 of those are stops, which are tackles that are a negative play for the offense. He's also got a forced fumble. I mean, he's just a dominant run defender. So, again, he, he's not necessarily going to replace a Shelby Harris, but he is at the very least he's a situational run defender that's going to come out in running situations short yardage goal line and he's going to start day one so shelby harris to the broncos with pick 200. finally with the 219th pick in the 2021 nfl draft the denver broncos select ben brown interior offensive lineman ole miss um I've got him listed on my sheet as a guard. It looks like he's played center all year this year. I believe he is primarily a center, but with most guys, I'm calling him interior offensive lineman. I can't necessarily speak to a guard coming into center, but, you know, whatever. Um, bottom line is I want to fix and help to improve the interior of this offensive line. We did get Trey Hill already, but we're going to also throw Ben Brown into the mix. Again, when you get into the seventh round, we're getting additional competition. It doesn't mean we don't think he can play or compete or start or whatever. It's possible, but we need more competition because we need to get better. Ben Brown, I think if he had the ability to get into the draft last year, he maybe would have been a little bit higher. He's had a little bit of a rough year this year. It's gotten better as the year has gone on, but he started off the year kind of rough, um, given up a decent amount of pressures and whatnot, but um, he's been for the most part consistently a very good pass blocker I don't know that you get a top tier run blocker but again seventh round he's going to compete and if nothing else hopefully we get some solid depth so if there's an injury we got somebody that comes in that isn't just a sieve it is what it is but that's it that's going to do it for the Denver Broncos seven round mock uh, if you like the video please drop a like if you didn't please leave some comments and some suggestions moving forward um, as I've said in the past, these seven round mocks are not only fun to do, but really help me with my first round overall mocks when it comes time to, um, you know, making the pick for the Broncos. It's hard to squeeze comments out, but when I do these, you get a lot of team specific comments, which are always extremely helpful. 
So please drop those below. Um, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next time we do a Broncos mock or a first round mock. Those always drive uh, drop on uh, Monday and I do um, do premieres so they come out live. So if you don't want to miss that, again, make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell notification. Also, I just, I'm in the process, it's not quite done, of setting up the subscriptions. So assuming that's available, and if you like the, the content and you want to help support what I'm doing, you can join and uh, become a member. There's a couple little perks in there. For example, this is Tuesday. So I'm finished recording this on Tuesday. I'm going to have it ready on Tuesday to premiere, what, Thursday, Friday, whatever day it is. One of the tiers is going to allow you to watch these early. So if I get the first round mock down on Saturday, you'll be able to watch it Saturday or Sunday or Monday, whenever you want. But again, you'll get the early access. Um, I'm still working out the tiers and exactly how that's going to work. But it should be ready by now. Again, if you enjoy it, please consider that. I would appreciate that. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time.